What a deck! Hello and welcome to What a Deck, where we play troll decks, rogue decks, and whatever the hell I feel like. I'm your host, Hardleg Joe, and today we're looking at level 9 shenanigans, as brought to you by Patreon sponsor Kale, who pretty much just wanted me to build an entire deck around this card, World Legacy Monstrosity. This is a quick play spell card with two effects. You can either A, summon a level 9 from your hand, or B, if you've got a level 9 on the field, you can summon two other level 9s from the deck with different types and attributes. So, just level 9 support. It was released alongside a bunch of level 9 monsters that are all technically parts of different uh, archetypes. We've got guard dragons and nightmares and crawlers. But they all kind of support level 9 monsters, too. So we're going to try to use them together. We've also got level 9 prediction princess, level 9 pot, and a package of normal world legacy monsters to make this synchro because it searches world legacy monstrosity. So basically, we've got a big, janky clusterfuck that when it works, it works pretty good, but it, there's a big chance it might not work. So you're going to you're gonna see some shit this episode. If you just want a deck profile, there's a link in the description to a separate, shorter video. There, I just go through everything in here. I'll explain how it works. Otherwise, in this video, I'm playing 10 duels against random opponents on YGO Pro. I'll be testing this out, showing you some combos, and hopefully... We'll have a little fun. <laughs> All right, here we are. First duel versus my arch nemesis player. And you'll want to go first with this deck as often as possible, as much as possible. And let's see here. I think, I think we could do something with it. Yes, we can do something with this. So we're going to start off unexpected die. Summon a normal monster from the deck. Doesn't really matter which one in this, this instance. And then we've got Nightmare Corruptor Ibli, which is not really important, it's a one of, uh, but it's a monster we can normal summon. So using this, we're going to make a Nightmare, let's just pick Cerberus. Again, doesn't really matter. Ibli's effect will activate, summons to your opponent's side of the field, now all they can make is Link monsters. Can shut down some decks. Then we're going to use this to make Nightmare Mermaid, Link 1 with any Nightmare. Using this, we can discard a card and special summon a level 9 from the deck. Hey, how's it going? Now that we've got our level 9 on the field, World Legacy Monstrosity, summon two level 9s from the deck with different types and or attributes. Um, let's go ahead and do uh, this one and this one, because we've already got one of the other level 9s in our hand. Yeah, this doesn't, this is discard a card, summon a nightmare, and this level 9 is a nightmare. Um, then what we're going to do, because I don't want to be losing a thousand attack, that's what this guy makes everything that's not linked lose a thousand attack. So, we're just going to go ahead and make land for Linkus. Hey, how's it going? I'm 1200. We're going to use our two level nines to make true king of all calamities. Which is pretty much just like Lockdown, the movie, the game. During either player's turn, you can detach. Hey, hey, pick a type, dark. All your opponent's monsters are treated as dark, and dark monsters your opponent controls cannot activate their effects or attack. So he's just pretty much fucked for a turn. That's just how it is. Um, I could normal summon that. I don't think I really want to. Um, yeah, I think we're just going to... We wouldn't do any extra damage anyway, so I'm just going to attack over this. Do a thousand. Your move, holy man. And then we're just gonna do this again. And if I had more monsters I could special summon, uh, I might be able to do more, put on enough damage to kill him. I can't, I'm just stalling for two turns. Hey, that's not terrible. Um, let's see here. Yeah, so what we could do, attack for 1200. Get that out of here. Attack directly for 3,000. Emergency teleport. Because this guy is a psychic. So, level 3 or lower psychic. Normal monster is very important for reasons I'll explain in a, in a second, actually. And then what we can do is just go ahead and use him to make Link Spider. That'll stop him from being banished. 
Then, activate this, banish two normal monsters, special summon this guy. He's got 3,000 attack, and actually if I put him in attack, I would have, I would have just won. But that's fine. Um, let's see, two plus monsters, special summon, so this is pretty much useless, so we're just gonna turn this, one, two, three, four, into this guy. Hey, how's it going? Mech Knight Crusadia Avramax. This is pretty much lore the deck. It's got like world chalices and crusadias and I guess mech knights. This is a world legacy guard dragon. All the things are mixed. But yeah, this guy says all monsters on the field lose 500 for every dragon I control. So it's just minus 500 for him. This guy, he can only attack this guy. Uh, he's pretty much like an honest. I believe he can't be targeted with card effects. Yeah, so this is a fairly diff difficult lock to break. The only way you can defeat this non-targeting removal... Oh, but he's playing Borals, so he might be able to use fucking... Whatchamacallit? Borolode Dragon? That would be sad. That would be a sad time. I might lose this after all. <laughs> Hard to say. But yeah, that's the, the problem, is you got the Prediction Princess thing... Uh, if you don't get your ritual spell, you're gonna have a bad time. We play three pre-preparations of rites to help with that, but didn't, doesn't quite work, didn't quite work out this time. Although again, I'm trying to think, if I had made that and then made Link Spider and made this, yeah, I probably could've, probably could've gone for game anyway. So that's, that's my mess up. That's not the game. That's the problem with playing this deck that has a whole bunch of one-ofs is, uh, it's hard to learn all the combos because there's so many weird, like, situations where it's like, oh, I've never been in that situation before. Well, let's see. He could definitely make Boral Load now. No, he's going for Skull Dread. Ah, because he has the Succession. Bring that back. And then what? Savage. The most savage of dragons. Uh, that can do that. Okay. Three th oh, 3,300. We're almost equal. Um, let's see. Yeah, I'm gonna die anyway, so activate that. And then he's gonna remove... But then when he's destroyed, I can just send a card. Oh, and he just surrendered. Yeah, when this is destroyed, you can send one card your opponent controls to the graveyard. So I send that. Then I've got... Well, that wouldn't have been game for for me. I still would have had to wait another turn. But again, I could have had game if I didn't mess it up. So there you go. Th that's what happens when you, when you get a pretty decent hand. There are much better hands. I can make boards that are like... You can't do anything, and next turn I'll OTK you. And then I can also make boards where I set a normal monster, and that's all that happens. So, get ready for a roller coaster, folks. <laughs> Alright, here we are, second duel, brought to you by Patreon sponsor, Dancing Joker. Specifically his YouTube channel, which he wanted me to shout out. There should be a link on the screen, possibly a link down in the description as well. He's a very new YouTuber, only got, I think, 13 subscribers last time I checked. Does, uh, Pokemon Nuzlocke challenges and stuff. So, you know, if you're into Pokemon, if you want to help out a very small, just-starting YouTuber, uh, go check him out. Uh, looks like we're up against, uh, Rockets again. Uh, really weird. I wonder, I guess they got new cards announced, so everyone's trying them. Yeah, first time I was up against Player, so this is Spectrum. So this is an entirely different person. The question is, will we be able to defeat them with the hand we have? Not the best hand. Rescue Rabbit, I uh, kinda iffy about. He's been working pretty well for me. He could do some certain things, but uh not sure necessarily if I'd want to keep him if I if I kept testing this. If I had more than two weeks to test, if I was testing this for like six months or something, Rescue Rabbit probably the first thing to get get getting rid of. Um, especially, well, we got this too. Um, oh, actually, now that I think about it, no, we're good. Rescue Rabbit plus a normal monster 
is access to our level 9s. And we've got pre-preparations of right, so we have the ability to get into our princess tarot tray. Because we got something to, to discard for it. The real question is, is he going to be able to negate our things? On the one hand, he does seem to be able to summon a lot of things. On the other hand, if all he can make is, like, Boral stuff... Then, I uh, Boral Load, Boral Sword, Boral Guard, none of those are really all that... Oh, but he's making Guard Dragons. Okay, so you know what, we're gonna fast forward, we'll be back when he's done doing stuff, and we'll see what happens. <laughs> and he just surrendered, because he messed up his combo. Well... <laughs> that sucks. I guess we'll find a real second duel. <laughs> Alright, here we are, what is hopefully the real second duel versus Hello? He's, he's got that ooh-woo about him. Uh, we're still brought to you by Patriot... Who did I, oh, Dancing Joker, yes. It's still Dancing Joker, no one else. Uh, this hand, not, not so good. Um, in fact, I would go... Wait, no, no, we got this. For a second, I was like, "Oh, we're fucking screwed." And then I got, I gotta, I gotta remember all these combos. The combos are kind of tricky. They're not the most complicated combos. I'm just not very good at them, you see. So, rescue rabbit, get these two. In order to make a nightmare, you need two monsters with different names. That's why we gotta turn one of these normal monsters into a link spider. Can be made with any one normal monster. Then we use both of them to make a nightmare. Then we make both of the nightmares, um, yep, mermaid, hello, mermaid will get our level 9, we'll discard that, howdy doody, and then we're gonna go ahead again, special summon our two level 9s from the deck, and this time we're gonna go with these, because we've already got a deus ex crawler in the, the graveyard, hey, how's it going? Um, and let's see, what, what do want to do? We have many things. We could make King of All Calamities again. It's kind of boring. I'm not really all that interested in that. So what we're going to do instead is we're going to make Enta Blathnir, who can detach to rip a card out of your opponent's hand. He can actually detach to do all sorts of things. Like banish a card from the top of your opponent's deck, but we're going to take his hand. Twin Twisters, alright. I'm glad we banished that card that is of no use to anyone. <laughs> um, let's see here. And then what we want to do... Yeah, we're just going to trade these out again. Because now my stuff's going back up, his is going to... Oh wait, no. This is going to be destroyed in the end phase. Oh, but when it is, I can add a level 9 back to my hand, so we're good. And... Oh, it's attached to... Whoops. Well, we get that crawler back we discarded. I detached the wrong thing. I didn't quite think all that through. For some reason, I thought Nightmare Mermaid was like a Link 2 and I'd be able to make another thing. Uh-oh. Dark Lords. Now I, sh I should have made King of All Calamities. I would have been much better off. But again, that's kind of boring. We really just gotta, at this point, hope that we can draw our, our uh... Whatchamacallit? Our ritual spell. We got three ritual spells, and we've got three pre-preparations of rites, which will search the ritual spell. So six chance. Ooh, he's playing dangers. Discard his trade-in. Okay, he gets to special summon Nessie and draw a card. But he lost his trade-in, which is a very good thing. Why is he playing no extra deck? That's really strange for Dark Lords. Unless he's doing Nurse Burn. He might be doing Nurse Burn, and maybe he's just playing these as like a draw engine. There's a, what was it, Dark Lord Raf Raphael? Dark Lord Nurse? I forget. I think it's Nurse. But she's a Dark Lord, and if your opponent would heal themselves, if they would gain life points, she burns you for that amount instead. So then people play stuff like Gift Card. No, it doesn't look like that. He's just summoning things. Then do that, add one Dark Lord from your deck to your hand. Running out of cards there, buddy. What can do? Summon one from the graveyard. Does he have one in the grave? Yeah, he does. So it might actually be worth him to just ram this into this. 
And then if I don't draw my ritual spell, I'm pretty much fucked. Yep, he's just gonna ram it. And then I'll take some damage. If nothing else, he doesn't seem to have a whole lot of, uh, you know... Oh wait, no, he can just summon this back with that Dark Lord. Oh, yeah, he can do that next turn. Alright, Monster Reborn. Hmm. 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 Well, part of me just wants to take his Superbia so he can't have it. <laughs> that would be fun. The other part of me wants to get my guard dragon out, because that'll lower everything by 500, so even if he gets it out, I'll be... Even if he gets another copy of it. I think I'm going to go for the memes. I'm going to I'm gonna be meme. Meme? Let's go for... Where are you at? Superbia! Give me that shit. Ugh! I have a fairy type in my graveyard! I have a fairy type in my graveyard, ladies and gentlemen. I forgot that this was a fairy. Well, yeah, Nightmare Idly. This is a, a one of that I play. Not specifically all that. It's really good against Link decks, especially the more Links they make, the more brutal this becomes. But I only played it one because you're playing on YGO Pro, where chaos reigns, and there's a lot of chance that, you know... You'll play someone who doesn't have an extra deck at all. Oh, hey, life points. I like those. Thank you. Playing Dark Lord Exodia, maybe? And yeah, this also has a neat effect that level 9 monsters cannot be destroyed by card effects. Which is cool because if you saw... Su oh, he's got 3,000. Oh, if I had summoned Marmaduke or whatever its name is. I'm just going to call him Marmaduke. That's much better. Twin Twisters, okay, he gets another one. But yeah, there's uh, there's the, whatchamacallit, there's that thing that summoned two level 9s from the deck, that the whole deck is based around, and if you, uh, you use that, they're destroyed during the end phase, but this says level 9, level 9 monsters, yep, cannot be destroyed by card effects, so if you really wanted to just sit on, like, Marduk and Crawler and this, you could... Tribute, and then summon back, and then get Superbia, and then Superbia summons another one. He still can't OTK me, though. But sadness, yep, I should have gone for the other one. I had tried- this entire duel has been Joe tries to style on people, and he should not have tried to do that. I should have just went for the better plays. But you know what? This is a jank deck. I assume you want to see the weird janky plays you can do with this, and not just me making true king of all calamities and sitting on it for an eternity. So we're going to take a significant damage. Let's hope we get our ritual, because the ritual would help quite a lot, actually. Because this can turn things face down and also summon out stuff out of the graveyard. Um, what's he got in the graveyard, by the way? Because they can, the Dark Lords can take their spell traps and activate them from the graveyard with their monsters. Hey, we got it! Let's just hope he can't negate it somehow. Yay. They have some pretty brutal traps that they can use from the graveyard. Fortunately, we're all good. We're going to use this. We're going to get that, go to that, eh, um, at the risk of, yeah, let's do a little bit of damage and hope this, this isn't like a mirror force or something. And if this is mirror force, we just deserve to lose, most likely. Okay, he's going to search another Dark Lord. Gotcha. And then this thing, this thing is Book of Moon, it can flip a monster face up or face down, and during the end phase, it can summon a flip monster from your uh, hand or graveyard. So what we're going to do is we're going to summon Pot of the Forbiddens, which we got off that level 9 thing earlier. 
And then still in the end phase, we're going to flip it face up. Change it to attack position. And this thing has four effects based on forbidden cards. Used to be forbidden, Raigeki. So let's just destroy all monsters my opponent controls. Go die. Thank you. Please come again. So now I've got this. This, again, Book of Moon. I can just flip a monster face down if it tries to attack me. Normally you'd do that, like, immediately just to stop them from making extra deck plays, but he doesn't have any extra deck plays. But hopefully we can trap him into doing something silly. We'll see what happens. Use that, summon another one. And then that will summon another another one. But he can't get over Tarot Tray because 2700 moi, a good amount. A good amount of attack to have. Not the best amount of attack. Yeah, so what he's going to do, he's going to attack into Pot of the Forbiddens. And then I'm going to be like, I could stop that attack, but what I'd rather do is flip this face down. And then the attack still goes through, you take the damage, and oh hey, let me just go ahead and destroy all your monsters again. <laughs> so, we styled, it was risky, but the risk ended off paying off because I'm the one they call Dr. Top Deck. I top deck the cards that I need in the times when I need them. At least I did this time. I'm sure it won't continue to do this good. This deck is very jank, but we'll see as we go into the third duel. <laughs> All right, here we are, third duel versus a Wooly Imp. Very interesting. Oh, and we're probably not going first unless he's playing like some kind of OTK deck. We do have a pretty good hand, assuming we can do some things. We have the ability to get our Tarot Tray. Tarot Tray is level 9, so you can use Monstrosity on her, get two level 9s out of the deck. We can also get a normal monster. Not, it won't help us in this case, but we can get it. Hey. Um. Actually, it will help us in this case, ish. Actually, I'm not sure, maybe I should just save that for, for next turn. Well, you know what, let's activate it, and then if he's got some kind of, like, Ash Blossom, maybe he'll use it on this. We'll go ahead and get this for extra damage. Um, yeah, and then, actually, let's continue to try to bait things out, just in case, because I'm not, I'm worried about this. We're going to go ahead and make Nightmare Phoenix. Uh, we're going to use both of these effects, which lets us chain block. Uh, let's discard that, because we're going to get another copy. Destroy his back row. Just in case it's something that can fuck us up. Okay, called by the grave. That actually, that's, that's alright. It's the one of, I don't really care. Now let's try this. Hey! Vsauce here. Um. Let's go ahead, yep. Do one of this, this, for that. Supplies, nice to meet you. Um, and then, yeah, we're gonna go ahead and do this. Two level nines from the deck. They can't be a fairy because this is a fairy. Oh, and now he ash blossoms. All right, interesting choice. And I could make Mermaid, but I have nothing to discard for it. So let's just do this, see what happens. Madolce, all right. That may or may not be a problem for us. I am not quite sure. I think one face down card can just end, end his life, but I'm, we'll see. I'm not exactly up to date on the Madolce combos. Maybe he has a kaiju and he could just kaiju this thing. Well then, just call me the prophet. <laughs> I've predicted the future, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, buy stocks and uh, uh, waffles, delicious waffles with lots of syrup. And donate to my Patreon. I'm going to be huge. Just wait till Legend of Lefty comes out. Biggest media event in the last thousand years. <laughs> 
<laughs> we can only hope. Uh, but yeah, I think I'm boned. I have no cards. I have the only thing I can activate in the graveyard is I can banish this to grab another copy of the ritual. But literally, unless I top deck, unless I top deck another pre preparations of rights, I'm pretty much screwed. And even then, I might still be. I might not survive this turn. So you know what? We'll skip ahead. We'll see what he builds, and I'll be back. Either way, when when he's done doing stuff. <laughs> Well, that was unexpected. He started with this, which has all the combos. And instead of doing all the combos, he just, just did that. I, I was expecting, uh, I was expecting a lot more. I was expecting many things. Um. Should I just deck thin? Yeah, let's go ahead and just deck thin. The movie, the game, the motion picture experience of a lifetime. Ooh, he's got another nine. Get it because it's a it's a nine. The deck is it has a bunch of nines. I could normal summon this. It's a sixteen hundred beater. Um, oh, I've got another one. Um, might as well. Deck. Then it's one last one less thing for me to draw that I don't want to draw right now. Um. Let's see. Well, this card pulls to Medolce spell traps. Also, neither player can target it. This card would be destroyed. You can shuffle one Medolce from your graveyard. Uh, okay, so I don't want to do that. You can add it to your hand. Okay. So, yeah, I'm fine with giving him Hoot Cake because he already has Hoot Cake. If I do this, he could shuffle either one of them into the deck, and if they would be shuffled, he can add it back. And I don't want to give him his combo starters back. Um, yeah, and I can't really... Can't really do anything else at the moment. So, off we go once again to skip past his turn, whatever he's going to do, and hope that I don't get OTK'd, but I still might get OTK'd. Because I'm pretty sure Hootcake is a combo starter, too. Not exactly sure, not 100%. Although, if he was one last turn, I don't know why he wouldn't have, like, linked them away and then done the combos then. Where's Angelly? Shouldn't you have Angelly? Isn't, isn't that normally what you want to do? Two, four, six. Not quite dead, assuming he can't do things. He's already normal summoned. Yep, just add those back. That goes back into his deck. Three, four, five, six, seven. Okay, seven thousand. All right. Am I dead? Let me check my pulse here real quick. Uh oh. Up, I'm dead. I'm dead from a princess. Well, that's a sad state of affairs, but at least my Dolce fans will be happy. Yeah, this deck, this deck dies really hard to kaijus because it's all about building big boss monsters. If you see the profile, I actually run the anti-kaiju card in the side deck because I'm like, you know, of the few things you have to fear, that is one of the biggest ones. And being able to just like summon this back and get rid of your kaiju, pretty nice. So, there we get our first loss. Let's go ahead into the fourth duel. <laughs> yeah, here we are for the fourth duel. Yeah, fourth duel, yes. This time brought to you by Patreon sponsor Upgrade J. Nice guy. Maybe I'm a little biased, but I like names that start with J. Could just me me. Hard to say. Hard to leg. Hard to eat. A broken egg. Um, and we've got a not... Oh, wait, wait, no. We've, we're... Pff, what am I... Pff, what? We gotta keep him at. We got a good hand. Um, because we can make this, and we got crawler. Hey, how's it going? Which will give me a chance to show off the crawler. You're like Joe. Why did you summon this? Because I could. He's basically our spell trap removal. So special summon a flip monster. He doesn't say flip on him, but he's a he's a flip monster. And then we're just gonna go ahead and flip him up. Change it to attack position. Because, uh, let's see. 
Uh, after this card was flipped face up, while it is in a monster zone, negate all monster effects activated on your opponent's field. So he's just like a one-sided skill drain. It's on a level 9 flip monster. So as long as I have that there, no monster effects. It's like Mystic Mine, except I had to actually put some uh, some effort into it. And also he can attack over this because it's only 2,000. I mean, if I put it in defense mode, then then it can be a really big problem. But <laughs> apparently he thought it was just as brutal as Mystic Mine, so he's not going to go through that. Again, the, I, I, can't, I, can't, I can't emphasize enough how much, like, if you get a good hand, this deck is just, like, oppressively brutal. If you can start with, like, this, and the Book of Moon, and, like, a level, or a, a rank 9 Ixie, you're just, you, your opponent can't do anything. It's just the times when you can't do that, it's like, ooh, ah, oof, my heart. Uh, so, there's another win, let's go ahead into the fifth duel. <laughs> Alright, I want a fifth duel, extra mayo, and hold the mustard. No sauce, animal style. I don't even know what animal style is. I don't. I don't have those. I forget what that burger. Like what a burger, in and out burger. I don't know. We don't have those in Missouri, where I am from. Which is fine. He he was scared. He was like, oh, you don't have in and out burger. I'm out. I I want nothing to do with this. Let's find a real fifth duel. <laughs> okay, forget the extra mail. Let's get a real fifth duel. Playing with some Mitch Connor. Do you got Mitch Connor? Okay, good. I'm gonna go first. And we're good. We're good-ish. I can finally do a combo thing that I wanted to do, assuming I don't get Ash Blossomed. Uh-oh. Seemed like he was waiting there for a second. Okay, so we're gonna use Unexpected Die. You want to get this girl, because the other guy's the Psychic. We got our Emergency Teleport. We need to save that for him. Bada bingo. Emergency Teleport. So there's this new Synchro out, and it's like if you use normal World Legacy monsters, you can treat one of them as a tuner. And she's level 5, World Chalice, sorry. So, if you get both of these out, you can make Ebe, the World Chalice Justicar. And then when you make her, she can grab this, the monstrosity, from your deck to your hand. Hey, I like that. Um, and then this guy. If you got, if you got two normal monsters, banish them, summon this shit. Yo, what's up? Nice to meet ya. Now, we could do the World Legacy thing. Summon two level 9s with different names from the deck. We're gonna go with this. We're gonna go with this. Bada bingo, bada Django. Unchained, the best way. Next, what we're gonna do, we're gonna make dang old Lamphorlinkus. With these two. Howdy. Because when this is sent to the graveyard, you can summon a world legacy from your deck. And we're going to pick Star Grail, because a lot of people don't know this thing has a quick effect. And then, we're going to make True King of All Calamities. I could take one out of his hand. I did that last time. This time, we're not going to do that. We're going to play it slightly safe, see what the hell he can do. Activate. Uh, I'm going to pick Dark, because that's, like, the most common type. And hope he doesn't have, like, I don't know, fucking, uh, it's, uh, Ghost Ogre. If he has Ghost Ogre, I'm screwed. So, again, it's one of these things, like, some people ask why Mystic Mine is so, so busted. Oh, fuck. Super Poly! It's the strongest Poly! All monsters are treated as Dark! Well, fuck! <laughs> I shouldn't have picked Dark, but he still can't attack or op operate his effects or anything. Okay, so what were the chances that I should have picked Light? If I had picked Light, he wouldn't have been able to do anything. He would have been stuck. Okay, mental note for the future. Pick Light. And it's fine. We've got our Prediction Princess. Um, oh yeah, you could banish this. Search a thing. Some kind of world legacy. Hey! Let's go with this, actually. This will be really good. Because then I can get my Mar Dragon back. Uh, what does this do again? I should read this. Um, when your opponent would special summon a monster from the extra deck, you can negate the summon. 
Okay. So yeah, we're going to get this because this can beat over this. And that's what I'm wanting to do. And... Okay, and if we control his Predacounter, counter, he could just special summon it back. No! Pourquoi? Well, that's sad. Um. Okay. Round two, then. Can't do anything right here, but special summon a flip monster. Pot of the desires. And if you would just please die, I would appreciate it. Let's just go ahead and be like, uh, mm, mm, destroy all your monsters. I don't want this thing. It's bigger than me. It has more defense, so even if I flip it face down, I'm screwed. And now I don't have dark monsters. Uh, and you can fusion summon with face down monsters, which is a very important thing to keep in mind. So I'm not going to flip this face down. Because this would still get it, he'd still get polymerization, and then he could just use them to make Starving Venom Fusion Dragon. Look at this thing, it's a big old pterodactyl bird. I can't- Heliomorphomorcabamus! Heliomorphocomerus! Heliocentric Universe! That's- I don't know what the fuck that is. Um, but hopefully he can't make like a- a rank 3 or something that's gonna fuck me up. What's he gonna search though? Instant fusion, superior polymerization. Uh, there's the few. There's that fusion that's always treated as poly. No, he's just got a regular polymerization. Are we gonna see a starving venom? Is he going to starve our entire venom? I think we're gonna see a starving venom, which is going to be a problem because starving venom can do some shit, man, and some things. He might make the... No, the other one takes a fusion, I believe. I'm trying to remember. They've got the one that can negate effects, and that could be a problem. Especially because it's got Predacounters. No, Chimera Reflasia. Okay, that's probably the best thing he could have done. Um, let's see. Let's see. Oh, and he just surrendered. Okay. Target one monster, banish it. Okay, yeah, I could have just flipped him face down. I would have been, I would have been fine. I think I won that one either way. So there we go, fifth duel done and over with. Doing pretty good so far. Let's go ahead to the halfway point. Oh hey, hello, hard leg Joe. Who else would it be here at the halfway point to be like, hey, you know, if you've made it this far, obviously you're enjoying the video, and if you like the kind of content I I produce, check out my Patreon. My channel's funded mostly through the Patreon. It's what allows me to make goofy decks like this, level nine shenanigans. Not the most popular deck. I could be making meta stuff, getting a whole bunch of ad revenue, but I don't really care about that. I'd rather make fun stuff that you and I both enjoy playing. So if you want to support that, consider checking out the Patreon. I have a bunch of rewards and stuff too. And you know, if you don't have money for it, that's fine. You don't want to donate, that's fine. Maybe consider dropping a like. Subscribe if you're not subscribed. Or just tell your friends about the video. Be like, hey, you like Yu-Gi-Oh? Check out this guy. He plays cool Yu-Gi-Oh decks. It's pretty entertaining. It's like a podcast kind of thing. Anything you can do to support is greatly appreciated. And with that said, let's get right back into the duels. Alrighty, here we are back at it again in the sixth duel. This time brought to you by Patreon sponsor Manny. Just a nice, just good old Manny. Nice normal name. And, uh, ooh, uh, okay, we're, we're not, we're not too bad off. Again, we've got this combo. Getting Nightmare Ibley. Not something you normally want to get, but we got it. Go in that. We're just going to go straight into using Cerberus. Hey, how's it going? Ibley's gonna come over, shut him out from doing anything, and he surrendered. I don't really want to count that, because we didn't really get to do anything, so let's find a real six duel, shall we? Okay, here we are, hopefully the real six duel, still brought to you by Manny, just good old 
Nice to just have a normal name, no weird thing. Just Manny, Manny from the block. You know that guy. He's a cool guy. Um, and we're going up against Max TV. Interesting. Let's go ahead and do one of these. Hmm. Ha. Huh? Can I still activate this? Nine. Let's just hope we don't also get Ash. Nope. Okay, we're good. Well, that sucks. At least I know how that works. Uh, negate its effects until the end of this turn. Okay. So, we're, we're still decent. We've got this. Howdy. End phase. Just summon Deus Ex Crawler. Flip it face up. And see what he can do. Can he do things in the face of a giant crawly boy? Does this card work better in actual crawlers than it does versus this? Or does in this, this weird level 9? Rockets! Again? How many rockets we got, though? Quick effect. Target a face-up card. You can add special summon monsters from the extra deck. Okay. I wonder how long it'll take him before he realizes this is fucking screwed. Okay. Special summon, but it can't attack. Also destroy. Okay. Maybe he already knows. Tara, okay. Nine. Nine! I was gonna put this on the negation, but, um... You know, he doesn't really... Doesn't really do anything. Or what, like, he doesn't really have, like, a face or anything that, like, could be used to make cool stuff. He just sort of, like, exists. Aw, oh, damn it, I missed my time. So, like, I already cut this out for the sleeves, and then I ended up making the sleeves with just tarot tray and monstrosity. And real quick, what I want to do, if I can, if, hopefully he tries to activate something or do something. I'm worried about Boral Lord, Lord, Boral Lord, or Boral Sword. I want to flip this face down so he just can't, so he just can't, like, use it as Link material, and then he's stuck with, like, a Link 3. Fuck. Oh. Okay. Oh, is that a Link 1? Was he already stuck to Link 3? Yeah, okay, that's a Link 1. Okay, we're good. I believe he could still use effects in the graveyard, so it's still not as powerful as Mystic Mine. He just can't use effects on the field. Aha! Taking damage. Um. Yeah, and he can't act. He couldn't activate it because this was face up. <laughs> Well, there we go. I'm going to count that as a win. We ended up doing more. We, we made like two plays and it worked out. Let's go ahead into the seventh duel. Dancing in the moonlight. We're a god. We're dancing in the moonlight. I don't know what I'm on about. I just, that song has been stuck in my head. It's a pretty good song. Let's go ahead and use our pre-preparations of rights. hop a da -ba -da. We started with two normal monsters, but... I remembered the combo, so I think we're pretty good. Let's go ahead. Make a Link Spider. The Spider. Let's... Get this out. Hey, how's it going? Nice to meet you. Um... Let me think about this. If I summon the level 9, I can't actually do anything with it now that I think about it. I can use it as material. That'll that'll be worth it, right? That'll yeah, that'll probably be worth it. Yeah, I think that'll work. Okay. Here's what we're going to do. We're going to make this. We're going to make Nightmare Mermaid. We're going to discard this cuz it's once per turn. Effect Veiler. Nine. That's perfectly Well, it's not perfectly fine. That kind of sucks, because I wanted that level 9 so that I could summon this out, too. Um, instead, we have to use this as material. Uh, yep, okay. Yeah, that's what I was going to do. Summon out Nightmare Idly, 
use it as material for this, and then I could banish the two normal monsters to get out, what's it called? Um, the Guard Dragon Mardark. So then I'd have this, plus everything would lose a thousand, but he'd also be losing five. Ah, fuck. Ah, shit. Ah, gobble snorks. This is like the one thing this is not useful against in the least. I cannot fight against Guru Control. Not with this deck. Flipping them face down is exactly what they want to do. Uh, let's see. One other face-up card on the field. Change that monster face down. This is a quick effect if you control another sub-terror card. The Hidden City is not a sub-terror card. All right. Let's see what do. I might have a way out of this. Probably not, but I might. Okay, he's just going to get rid of Nightmare Mermaid. Neat. He doesn't... Um, let's see. You can't fire me, I quit. <laughs> now he can't flip himself face down because that's already there. But if he's got sub terra final battle, I'm going to be taking like all the damage. Like discount damage warehouse over here. Um, let's deck thin the movie, the game, the motion picture experience of a lifetime. Ooh, actually, spiciest tech. Gonna get this normal monster zero attack. Hey, what's that all about? Imduke. Imduke. He's got 800, but if he attacks a monster in front of him, he can destroy it without damage calculation. He's probably like, uh, what's going on? I'm confused. I need to read this. What do cards do? Ah, and he's going to manhunt. All right. Can I kill that? Okay, I can. Interesting. I thought for sure he'd have... Fi okay, so no final battle. I wonder why he meant just to take less damage. All right, well, you've got a link. You've got a guard dragon. This doesn't work if you're pointing towards me and there's, like, this space in the middle. Uh, let's see. At the start of the damage step, if this card counts, uh, if this card on the field is destroyed, you can special summon a sub-terror. Okay. So he's going to crash it and then summon a sub-terror? No. All right. Hey. Um... Yeah, I'm just not going to attack his sub-terror. I'll just get rid of that. I have no hope of getting it back anyway. And then during the end phase... I've got a flip monster now! Unless you've got another manhunt. Ha-ha! If I flip you face down, this can't flip you face down. I think. I don't know. I don't know how any of this works. I could probably read things. Nope, I'm still negated. A sad state of affairs. Well, let's see what happens. Okay, he's trying to go into the battle phase. I'm gonna be like, nah, dog. You go face down. I don't want you to be able to attack. And then he gets Uma Strix. Ah, shit. Ah, fuck. Ah, booty. No! A sad state of affairs. Uh, blah, 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 blah. Do I have anything I can do? No, I don't think I do. Okay. I think I may have lost this, but at least I almost kind of had a chance. 
Dern hand traps. Does he have the final battle now? 4,000? 4, 4,700. Yep. Now he's got that dang old final battle. I can't attack any of his things. So even if I got this out, it wouldn't really do much for me. Uh, let's see. All the hand traps! Every time with the hand traps. Okay, I'm dead. Let's just go, that's the second, that's only two losses. That's not that bad. Let's go into the eighth duel. <laughs> Alright, here we are, eighth duel. This time brought to you by Patreon sponsor, that one guy. That's, he's just some guy. You may have heard of him. He is definitely one guy and not two guys. Um, wow, this is, ooh, oh wait, no. No, we're actually not terrible. We're not great either, but we're not terrible. Okay, we're gonna do that. We're gonna set this, cause we started with two of these. But yes, thanks to one guy down in the comments, and I'm happy to report that's actually the last Patreon shoutout I have to give in this format ever. Um, I I've said this the last couple episodes, I'm stopping the, the in-between duels shoutouts. I'm gonna put them all at the end of the duel, I just had to finish up the ones I already had. And that was the last one. So remember this day well, gentlemen. This is the day that the shoutouts died. At least, at least these kinds. I'm still going to have, like, a, a higher tier where people can, uh, like, advertise channels and stuff like that if they want. I'll take, like, a minute. I might do that in, like, the halfway point, though. Or maybe I'll, I'll still tack it on to the end, but it'll be longer. I don't know, I've yet, I've yet to decide how I'm gonna do that, but. At least things won't be interrupted nearly as much. And also, I won't have a huge list that I have to keep track of who got what and what shout-out. I'll just do them all at the end. It'll be nice. We're going up against Pendulum Magicians. We've got this thing, but it doesn't stop his effects from activating unless it's been flipped summoned. Or flipped face up after it's been down. Like, that's its flip effect. Crawl... <laughs> Everyone wants to use rockets every day forever day. Jeez. I was like, oh hey, rockets finally playable, I'll have to try those out. Nope, everyone else got to it first. There's no reason, they're, they're already making them meta, it's fine. I'll just ignore them until they get hit on the ban list. And yeah, we're pretty much just gonna wait, unless he got gets something he can negate. We can activate this, it's quick play, so we activate it on his turn. Summon out the two things. Ooh, wait, actually, this could be really good, now that I think about it. Let's wait for him to build a Link Monster, gentlemen. <laughs> Using Needle Fiber, you cheeky bastard, that doesn't even exist! Okay, summoning out that. So now he's got, what, a level 4? That's a weird, that's a weird thing to have. Just make a big, make a big Link. That'll be fun. That's all I want you to do. Don't worry about synchros, just make- Okay, now you can make a level 8. Well, fuck. Um, okay, now he can't make a level 8, so I'm fine. Make another Link. Use these two and make a Guard Dragon Link. Hey, that's just what I was waiting for. Okay, so what we're gonna do... World Legacy Monstrosity. Summon two level 9s from the deck. Ibli and Imduke. When Ibli is, or Idli, sorry, when Idli is summoned, uh, send, if your opponent has more Link Monsters than you, send them all to the graveyard. Dancing in the moonlight, oh wait, he could do more, fuck, oh, I'm celebrating too early. What have I done? Red alert. But yeah, he got, this, this is the anti, uh, whatchamacallit, it's the anti, uh, extra link. So if your opponent has, if there's eight or more link rating on the board, you could special summon it. And if your opponent has more link monsters than you, just send all links on the field to the graveyard. So you can interrupt people's combos if you use this during their turn and summon out Idli. Or you could use it on your turn. I only played it at one just to summon it off of this or off of the nightmare, or yeah, the nightmare mermaid combo. But you can side in, I have two more copies in the side deck. So if you go against something that's link spam heavy like this, 
You slide in more copies, you might be able to top deck it. And everything he has is losing 500 thanks to this. I've got two 3,000. This is only 2,100, which is its biggest weakness. If it had more defense, that would be great. Fucking Draco Sack, excuse me. <laughs> that is a strange thing, but it doesn't have enough. You're going to tribute it off, and then he'll still have a token. So what's he going to destroy? I am surprised. This thing can summon two? Oh, all right. Neat. You can make a level 10 or a level 6 if you want a synchro. I thought he was, like, really cool because he could do all this stuff, but now I'm starting to get the feeling that maybe he's just clicking buttons and hoping <laughs> hoping he'll be able to pull something off. I'm not sure if he can, but th this also says all level 9s can't be destroyed by card effects. So as long as, as long as this is on the field, both of these won't be destroyed in the end phase. They'll make it to the next phase. All right, we're just going to get Boral Sword. So he's going to take that, gain some attack. Ouch, my most of me. Change his token to defense mode. If he destroys this, then I get Idli back. This is going to be destroyed in the end phase anyway. Yeah, you can get a level 9 from your graveyard. Doesn't really help me, but it's something... I guess if I draw my ritual monster, I can get this. But that doesn't really help me. Um, actually, it kind of, I can, okay, mm, uh, mm, oh, ooh, ooh, maybe. That's a big, big maybe there. Well, I can make, I can make this and crash in, oh, wait, no, mm, uh, mm, uh, mm, uh, okay. Let me go ahead, activate this. Summon. Um, yeah, because I could, I could just have this and like flip it face up or whatever, but that's not going to help me against his, his stuff. Um, let's summon it here. You're going to move into defense mode? I would move it into defense mode if it were me. The cool thing about this guy is it's non-targeting banishment. So even if he had made Boral load, I could still get rid of this thing because it doesn't target. So just get out of here. I don't like you. I don't want you. Um, I guess I could have normal summoned this and then at least gotten rid of his token. But I kind of want to save this in case I get the other one. Then I can at least make like a, a play or something. We'll see. He could still do that. That man, this is really good. Summon two rockets with different names. Yeah, I think I may be doomed. But at least I made a cool play along the way. You know what I'm saying? We'll see. I'll be back when he's done doing stuff and we'll see just how doomed I am. <laughs> All right. I don't feel like I'm very doomed at all. He just, he did that to send it back. And then he's going to summon a Dargan. Some kind of dang old Dargan. That thing. Okay, I've got one of each, and I can also search me another one of these. So let's go ahead and get this. Um, let's see. Check on one monster, you can add special summon. Destroy that card, and if you do, summon one rocket from the deck. Okay. So, what I can do is, like, normal summon, make a Imduke, and then that lets me normal summon another world chalice again. Kind of like Link Spider, but with fundamental differences. Um, and then I can just straight up, let's get rid of this first. Or trigger out its effect. 
He's going to summon another one from the deck. Why is it a why is it 300 Oh, it's hmm, why is it so low? Um, do you want to continue the battle? Yes. And we're just going to attack this. And I'm not going to use this effect in case he forgets that it has an effect cuz it points up. So he might foolishly summon something there. Um, let's see. During the graveyard, if it's there, you can special summon a rocket. Okay. So yeah, we're just going to go... We're both kind well, no, he still has this. <laughs> Oopsie doopsie. I need to f I don't have any spell trap removal. I really should run some spell trap removal, probably. Just for Mystic Mine and stuff, but I didn't think it was really all that necessary. Because if I go against something like... Usually if I go against something like uh, Dark Magician or Mystic Mind that has a lot of spell traps, like, just having the Twin Twisters isn't going to save me anyway. I would lose either way. Just because most of my stuff is about stopping monster effects. So, we'll see again. We'll be back. I'm not interested in watching rocket combos. You're probably not either. Not until I make a rocket deck of my own. Ha-ha! <laughs> Granted, he can negate the effect, because he'll have a, a thing with one counter. I think he only has got the link one in there. No, he's got a link two. Oopsie-doof-doof. At least I can make him burn a counter. Unless he doesn't read and he's like, what? Damn it. <laughs> Why'd you have to read? Ouch, my heart. Don't break my heart. Boot, doo -doo -doo -doo. Yeah. Not really sure what could do. New rockets, too good. Oh, there's my, there's my removal. Hello. Just gonna be like, eh. Get rid of that. And you know what? Fuck it. I don't need to survive. Let's stop that from happening. No, he's gonna stop that from stopping me from stopping him from happening. But he's used all his counters, so he can't negate me anymore. So if I happen to top deck something good, which I don't don't think I I have anything good, but yeah I don't know I, I've lost. Let's just go ahead to the next one. This deck is giving me a headache. I should have been dead by now. Why am I not dead? <laughs> All right, here we are, ninth duel versus someone who's come to waste my time. Ain't nobody gonna waste my time. Ain't nobody gonna slow me down. Uh-oh. I've gotta keep on moving. I don't have a great hand, but I still have a hand, and it glows with an awesome power. It tells me to eat French toast. And it's hard not to agree with it, because, I mean, who doesn't like French toast? Comment in the comments, you know. If you're an anti-French toast kind of guy. Um, hmm, hmm, hmm. I don't even have... I don't even have that. Um... One of these. Uh, one of... Uh, let's see, one of these. Uh, let's see, and then uh, one of this. Just trading out cards. Just having a dang old card old time. Let's discard that. Summon out this. Why am I summoning out that? I'm just going to hope... I'm just gonna hope that it's uh, he doesn't he doesn't link summon. Just gonna hope that's that's what he does. And then we'll put this over here for him. And then we'll special summon this by getting rid of those two. So I've lowered his attack, and he can only link summon until he gets rid of this. I'm not sure if that'll help me or hurt me. Or what's going on, but uh, I did some stuff. Sometimes this is the hand you have to play with. The question is, how good will he waste my time? 
Well, there goes part of his extra deck. Maybe he's not special summoning. Maybe he's just playing like a stall deck, and that's why his name is Wasting Time, and he has like 43 cards, so he doesn't deck out before I do. Twin Twisters, and Shadow Imprisoning Mirror, and a thing. Alright, I have no Dark Monsters as of yet. He's gonna, yeah, this guy is just trying to, to set five pass. That's fine, he won't, he may waste my time. But he won't waste your time, ladies and gentlemen. I will skip ahead to when plays happen. And you will see with the speedness of the fastness. That made sense. Don't say that it didn't. <laughs> Alright, we got elemental sabers. That's weird. He's got all these face downs. One of them is obviously the shadow imprisoning mirror, which I don't care about hitting. But, I've got this unexpected die I can't use. So we're going to discard this and kill this. You can discard up to two cards, destroy that many spell traps. So I'm just going to kill this. One less card for him to worry about. This is dead in my hand anyway. Medical verse. Okay, I'm not dark. I don't know I don't know what you do. Well, at least I didn't hit Shadow Imprisoning Mirror. Lair of... Oh, everything's dark because of the Lair of Darkness. In that ass thing. Yeah, and I don't have any non-monster removal, so there's no way I'm going to get... I'm going to get around to those. Um, let's see... We're just going to attack that. You got Mirror Force? If you got Mirror Force, I might be kind of doomed. I might best just be a slight amount of doom. Everything's dark, so even he can't activate his monster effects. Ballista Squad. Rippin' Pepper Rippy. Okay, so he's not wasting my time, but... He's got, like, Lair of... That's really weird. Why are you playing the Element Sabers with the Lair of Darkness? Doesn't that not work out very well? Why not just play pure cheese Lair of Darkness? But yeah, either way, this is... This is, uh... I mean, obviously it took a little bit more planning. He had some kind of thing. But, uh... I'm not going to be, this is just as bad as Mystic Mind for me, because until I get rid of these two, I can't, I can't really do any of my monster effects, and all I am is monster effects. I have, like, no spell traps that can defeat him. Everything I have, like, my, my spell trap removal is monsters. My monster removal is also monsters. And if he can tribute my things, then I'm just doomed. So we'll see, I'll play it out, I'll see what happens, but most likely, we're just going to skip ahead into the tenth and final duel. <laughs> Alrighty then, here we are, the tenth and final duel versus Zez. We get to go first, and what does our hand show us? But a pretty good hand. It glows with an awesome power, it tells me to Link Summon. Not Link Summon. Ritual Summon. They're both blue. What am I... Sp wh who do you think I am? Some sort of Nightmare Goblin? No, that doesn't even exist anymore. Oh, pardon me. So, we've got our Crawler. Not very much. I'm surprised. I'm definitely going to have to... We didn't make... We didn't make Demi Gear once in this duel. Kind of sad, but we never really had a chance where we went second and could do things. Most of the time, it's just sitting on Crawler and VFD... Honestly, this is kind of borderline for what a deck. If Kale wasn't such a great patron, I might have just made it a, a dumb deck. But, you know, it, I, hopefully you guys liked it. I had a poll recently, and I asked people what they like, whether they'd like to see weird, janky shit like this that, like, barely works, and when it does work, it kind of just does the same shit over and over again. But it's non-archetypal. You're seeing all sorts of weird stuff that don't normally do things. Yeah, I could. I didn't make this the whole time, and I didn't make this the whole time. What did Necroz? All right, Nito. I like Necroz, but yeah, this could definitely do some more plays. I'll have to show those on the replay. Different things you can do. I, I completely lost my train of thought because of Necroz. <laughs> Oopsie doopsie. Yeah, just. I don't know. You'll have to let me know what you thought of this episode in general down in the comments. Like, do you find it interesting to see these weird plays that you can make with normal monsters and level 9s? 
Or do you prefer something like, I played all speedroids uh, a couple of weeks ago, and it's like, all speedroids, like, it's, I'm just using the, the stuff that's supposed to synergize together. There's not like a super amount of creative deck building. It's just finding out the ratios and learning to play the deck. But you could do a whole lot of neat stuff. This thing has like two plays it can make. <laughs> Pretty much. Two or three main plays. But it does them in really weird ways with stuff that I'm not sure is supposed to necessarily work together. Yeah, all your monster effects are negated. I'm not sure if you've noticed that. And he's gonna ritual summon Trishula, and Trishula's monster effects are negated. I'm not sure if he's noticed that. He's gonna be like, da 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 Oh. Oh, that's sad. What, you gonna attack that one? And he can't, he can't redo the attack. <laughs> yeah. Fun, fun fact, little ruling thing. When you attack, uh, if your opponent adds or removes a monster from the field, it causes a replay because the field changes. You can, you can choose what your attack target is going to be. But if all you do is change the position of a monster, that attack still has to go through, even if it's in defense. Same thing with, you could change their attack. A lot of people know about that, but you could change their attack in like the damage step. This one you can change it on attack declaration and because the field state hasn't changed. They just ram into it. Fun little thing. But yeah, let's go ahead to the end screen. <laughs> so there we go, ladies and gentlemen. Level 9 shenanigans, the deck. We went 6 and 4, which is probably about as good as I expected with this. Like I said, it, it when it works, it works. You, you, we have so many times where it's like second turn surrenders because of this, because of this. Because of, I mean, if you do stuff right, you can, like, take something out of their hand with this and then also remove something else with this. There's a lot of really interesting combos you can make with this. And then other times, it's like, you end on a normal monster and a guy who gives you very slight battle protection. So it's a lot of hit or miss. But if you want something really unique, really janky, you can definitely do worse than this. Thanks again to Kale for suggesting this. Patron Supreme, really great guy in general. Uh, next week, I'm going to be looking at Dino Wrestlers. It's kind of like mostly dinosaur stuff, but with some Dino Wrestlers thrown in. I'm trying to get as many Dino Wrestlers as possible. They're not a great archetype, but we're going to be doing it, damn it. So check that out. And until next time, good luck and have fun. <laughs>